What's going on YouTube? Your boy Wolf back with another video. You see service in the back looking beastly. Today I'm gonna talk about why did I supercharge my 2018 Challenger GT instead of getting a 392. Let's go. Alright YouTube, let's talk about it. Why did I supercharge my V6 Challenger and not get the 392? Let's get into it. So firstly, Originally, my plan was to get the 392 because to me, the RT with the 375 horsepower wasn't enough to me. Come on, Drake. Come on, baby. Ah, right, damn, Chad. But, um, wasn't enough horsepower to me, the 375. The, the V6 comes with 305. To me, it didn't seem like there was going to be that much of a difference. Maybe a second in the 0 to 60. I mean, top end will be a, a lot better and stuff like that. But overall, that immediate, huh, yeah, you see it, horsepower, I didn't think I would get that from the 392. I mean, from the, the RT, excuse me. So, I did not want an RT at no point in time. Uh, you were you riding with the wolf right now. You hear it? Yeah, originally, I didn't even want a Challenger, to be honest. I was going to get the, um, I had no intentions of doing YouTube. At least I wasn't going to do car vlogging. I had no intention of doing car vlogging. I was going to do a podcast type thing. I had already had my mind set on that. And then one of my best friends of 20 years, he passed away. And he had a Challenger. Originally, my plan was to get the 2015 um, Taurus Show all-wheel drive with the, um, the turbos. That was my original plan. But then he passed away. He had a Challenger. His mom... They couldn't keep up with the payments. He's one of my best friends over over 20 years. Over 20 years, he was always looked out for me. It was like a like a big bro, like an OG, if you will. So he had a Challenger. They couldn't keep up with the payments of the Challenger. So I'm like, I'm getting a Challenger. Originally, I was going to get the, uh, the Scat Pack or the 392. But looking, I'm like, damn, none of these things come in all wheel drive. Let me take sport mode off. So we can actually cruise. Get out the way, truck. You see it. Big horsepower coming through. Big damage. Look around, champion. Yeah. So I'm like, damn. None of these things coming all wheel drive. And with the type of job that I have, ain't no, hey, uh, I can't make it to snow on the ground. Nah. You got to be at work, chat. You got to be at work. Period. So. I needed something with all-wheel drive because in uh, Northern Virginia, you know, we can it can either snow a lot or it, it's not going to be nothing. Which I don't want to be in one of those scenarios where we get a foot of snow like has happened before, and you know, you can't get out of here. You can't get out. Even after they uh, shovel the streets, I mean, uh, do the plowing of the streets, you still can't get out. Cause you got a real wheel drive car with 485 horsepower. I'm gonna have to figure something out. And then it just so happened they were coming out with the um, the Challenger GT all wheel drive. I'm like, this is perfect. It, this that started in um, 2017 was when they first made the um, the all wheel drive version. So I'm like, yeah, get out of here, champ. You see it. So. I knew that was it. 2017 Challenger. So I'm saving, I'm saving, I'm saving. I'm getting my funds right, I'm getting my credit right. I'm getting ready for this because I didn't want to get hit with no crazy um, monthly payment. So I get ready to get it. And by that time, the only, I wanted to destroy a gray color. And the closest one was in Florida. Like I said, I live in Northern Virginia. Wow, but in my, in my head, I'm like, Shh, set it up. I set up my appointment and that it was on Thursday. That Monday, I was supposed to be, I was gonna to drive to Florida, but my girl, she ended up finding, shout out to her, she found one in Fairfax, somehow, somehow. It was only like an hour, an hour some change away from me. So I'm like, what? I've been looking for two, three weeks. I don't know how she found it. I guess it's a woman's touch. And boom, I went and got it like the next day. Challenger GT 2018 all-wheel drive, brand new. My first new car. 
in my head, I needed the all-wheel drive. I needed the all-wheel drive. But I knew that this, this car, the way it comes from the factory, nah, not enough horsepower, man. Not enough horsepower. I wouldn't test drove it. I'm like, damn, this thing, this thing feel like a damn sedan. It's super, you can feel the heaviness in it, but you can just feel that this car is slow. Well, was slow. That's what I was thinking. I'm like, it's got a decent pickup, but nah, this ain't enough, Chan. This is not enough. So I'm like, before I even got the car, I'm just in my, I'm just going mastermind. I'm on YouTube. Like, what can I do to make it faster? I'm typing stuff up. I'm on forums. I'm on, on everything looking for some type of special recipe to beef it up and then boom that's when I stumbled upon the rip supercharger and I'm like I'm looking at the numbers of what I can get and after it's supercharged I'm seeing great numbers like 440 to the wheels um, 445 to the wheels all these numbers and I'm like man that's, that's better than the, um, the 392 that's I mean, the torque is the, for the 392. As far as my research, the torque on the V8 is higher. I guess it's those extra two cylinders. But I'm like, that's what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to get the V6, supercharge it, and then probably get an exhaust. And just keep building off that and maximizing the horsepower because it's completely off topic. My favorite thing about the V6 supercharge is that nobody knows what the hell I have nobody like people will see me at a gas station they'll look at my emblem won't say anything they won't say nothing they'll just be wait, waiting to hear it start and they hear it start and they hear the supercharger and some people I guess I don't know some people be scared to approach me and ask me what the hell it is it's normally the older guys like what the hell is that I go big white man mode and be like, what the hell you got in there, son? I'm like, huh? And then, you know, every car guy wants to hear that question. What the hell do you got in there? And then you get to explain and break down your process. And, you know, to you, you feel like a mad scientist explaining it to them. And they're just in awe. Like, so this is all-wheel drive? I'm like, yeah. Like, Challenger don't make all-wheel drive, man. Are you sure? I'm like, yeah, I'm sure. But how much horsepower? I'm like, Pfft. I got 450 to the wheels. 450 to the wheels. And they ask me about my zero to 60. I'd be like four two, and then it's just we just I end up making a friend. It bridges definitely bridges the gap of races and age groups and all that stuff because everybody loves cars. You know, look at my emblem. They'll hear the car and they're just confused on what it is, and I get to explain it. And I feel like that's awesome. If I see a 392, boom, my brain, 45. If I see a Challenger or a Charger that says Hemi on the side, boom, I know it's an RT, 375. If I see SXT, 305. Hellcat, 707. Other Hellcat, 717. Other Hellcat. Red Eye, 797. As soon as I see you, I know exactly what it is. Unless you modified it. charge my Challenger instead of getting a 392 because I needed the all-wheel drive and I wanted something different more than anything I wanted to be my own guy I didn't want to just pull up and people know exactly what's going on I wanted something different and impressive and something that I could be proud of and I'm proud of this car honestly with the direction I'm going I got great mods coming I'm just I'm proud of what the car is coming i'm proud of the performance of the car it's not the fastest car on the, on the road if i'm on the highway i know i just can't smoke anybody or with some light the light i know i just can't smoke anybody but for a daily driver this is more than enough okay that about wraps it up for this video that's why i went the v6 route instead of the 392 route and tune into the next one me and Cerberus out Left wrist for the diamonds, right wrist for the power moves. Left wrist for the diamonds, right wrist for the power moves. Power moves, power moves. Rocked up, yeah, but dabba do.